What's up everyone, Takedown here. Something you guys might know about me is I'm a huge fan of the Jurassic Park franchise. So today, I'm going to be ranking every Jurassic Park movie. Let's get right into this. Up first is Jurassic Park. It came out in 1993. And if you compare the dinosaurs and the technology they used in this movie compared to the new movies, it's not up to par and a lot of people are not a fan of it because it's basically dinosaurs that have a robot with a dinosaur skin over top. Which to me at the time looked epic, but if you look at it now, it's not up to par. But I am still a huge fan of it and I still absolutely love the original movies. In this movie here, it is a wildlife park full of cloned dinosaurs that opens. However, during the testing period, the security system breaks down and the survivors try to escape the island before being attacked by dinosaurs. So it's pretty epic. There's Tyrannosaurus Rex. You get to see the dinosaurs for the first time. You get to see the raptors hunting people. So it's a lot going on. This movie here, I was a huge fan of it. I love the story. It's very creative. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Next is going to be The Lost World Jurassic Park. It came out in 1997. And it follows John Heyman and a few others that try to explore the park's second site. But another team arrives to capture the remaining dinosaurs and brings them to America for a new park. But it also has a lot of destruction because nothing that they want to do goes according to plan. And then a Tyrannosaurus Rex ends up getting into America and running wild on the streets. So it is incredible. It is very very interesting to see dinosaurs be brought to the real world off of the island. The story is really cool, very creative. The action in this movie is awesome. I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. Next is going to be 2001's Jurassic Park 3. It includes Paul and Amanda Kirby who offer funding for Alan Grant to fly them to the old park as a tour guide from the plane. However, they land the plane because they're actually in search of their missing son and they need Alan's help. So they end up tricking Alan Grant to go there to basically guide them and explain everything, the exhibits of where the dinosaurs used to be, and to once again see the island from the destruction from the first movie and to see it again for the first time. But they end up landing and Alan is pissed, but they eventually end up finding their son. I'm going to rank this one a 7.5 out of 10. The next movie does not occur until 2015, and that is the first Jurassic World. It includes a whole new cast, which includes Chris Pratt, which I'm a huge fan of, so I'm absolutely happy that he's in this franchise. There is an up and running theme park with genetically engineered dinosaurs on the site of the original park. One dinosaur escapes its enclosure, causing nightmare for the tourist. It's basically an advanced dinosaur, something that can hide and be basically camouflaged in anything, all of his surroundings. And he is an intense hunter. So this movie here had a lot of action. It's very interesting to see a dinosaur escape and to actually see a fully functional theme park from the... Jurassic Park era to have an actual park that's running and operational with dinosaurs on it to see that before things went wrong was awesome I'm gonna rank it a 9 out of 10 from me next is gonna be Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in this movie There is a volcano that is on the island that becomes a threat to the dinosaurs where they may become extinct Once again if the volcano does erupt and ends up killing them all so Owen which is Chris Pratt's character and Claire reach the island to save the dinosaurs but there is a team already on the island that is taking the dinosaurs to take them back to america for live auctions it is revealed at the black market auction basically this huge mansion where all the dinosaurs are being held and auctioned off to millionaires that there is a new killer breed of dinosaurs and there's only one there and he ends up escaping which is freaking crazy at the end of the movie 
the remaining dinosaurs escape from this auction and run wild throughout America. So it's crazy to see them just run out into the wild and we don't hear from them or see from them again. And that's pretty crazy to see. So this movie here, I'm going to rank it 9.5 out of 10 because a lot happens. The dinosaurs almost become extinct once again. And then they end up coming back to America where they escape while in America. The reason why I wanted to do this movie is because as of right now, it has been announced that there's going to be another Jurassic World movie coming out in 2021, and I am really excited for it. Given the events from the last movie, Fallen Kingdom, I believe what is going to take place for the 2021 movie that as of right now is untitled, I'm assuming it's going to just see dinosaurs here in America, and you're going to see dinosaurs out amongst all of nature, and you're going to see them, and they're going to start breeding, and they're going to be uncontrolled. So I'm hoping that it's not like dinosaurs are taking over the world, and I'm hoping it's not like an apocalyptic scene. It's just, if you're in the forest, you may be among some dinosaurs as well. So I think that'd be crazy, or maybe they're going to try to contain all of those dinosaurs that escaped in the last one, Anything can honestly happen with these franchise. I think it's awesome to see where the franchise has started to where it has become with an operational Jurassic Park that in the previous, in the first Jurassic World movie, ends up everybody, uh, the park being destroyed basically. And then to see everybody come where the dinosaurs are being extinct and where the volcano is a huge threat. And then to see that on screen was epic as well. And then also to see the dinosaurs come to America and then escaping. So I can't wait to see what happens next for the movies, for the franchise. But I'm a huge fan of Jurassic Park for the Jurassic World. I can't wait for the next one to come out. I'm excited to see Chris Pratt. And I'm kind of expecting to see perhaps some of the original cast from the original movies make a return. I think if they do that once again... I think that would be quite epic. So I'm going to leave this video here. Comment down below what you're expecting to see in the next movie or if you're even excited for it. I'm going to see you guys later. Please take care. Peace.